tell you what, this is tracking. Oh, that's a drive. That could be anything, it's a number. <gasps> we need to see a bucket load of birdie sauce today. Oh! <laughs> Stop. Oh, it has. Come on, baby. <laughs> Bad drive. Oh, went round the back of the house, forgot its keys, and then went straight in the front door. Eagle opportunity. All right, guys, we're back. Break 75. It's been a minute. We've had a few weeks away. We're down here today, as you can see, Southport and Ainsdale, s &A, phenomenal golf course. The sun is out. I'm here with my good pal, Guy. Yes. We're going to do in break 75. We are. I feel, honestly, genuinely, it feels like it's been ages since we've done one. A long time, too long. So, lots happened. Um, I have been on a trip, been to America, Anywhere you might special? have heard. Uh, somewhere <laughs> a little, a little bit special. Ta da Brand new golf bag you might have seen in the last video. Very cool, it is um, cool. So that's all ready to go. I'm one strap in it, which might be uh, a mistake, but we'll see good. what happens. Looks good. Uh, I did a London Marathon the weekend just been. Thanks for everyone's support with that. If you've not donated yet, if you would, that'd be amazing, link below. Um, so, I have no idea what to expect today. Me neither. Because you've also been very busy, yes. and I'm guessing you've not played for a long I've time. I've not played since the video where we played against Tom Lewis and we beat him. That's a long time ago. Hit a few at the range, not too bad, but the beautiful thing today is an amazing golf course. The weather is literally perfect. Come on, come have a look at Just this. Just two mates having fun. Come have a look at this. So, s &A, you're in like this amazing pocket of incredible golf courses. Royal Burtdale, Hillside, and here, they're all next to each other. And to be honest, I've actually only played here once before, and it was many, many years ago. And actually, genuinely, I've got a normally a really good memory of golf yeah. courses. I can only remember two or three on this golf course. Yeah. I must have had a terrible round <laughs> and then discarded it from my memory. What I didn't forget is it starts with this hole, a tremendous par three, and it's like 200 job yards, and it's a proper hello to SNA. Yes. And in 1933 and 1937, this actually hosted the Ryder Cup. Yes. And the first time America actually won was here on this soil. So right. well done, USA fans. Right, it feels quite calm. It does. It's, it's just got this nice, chilled vibe today. Well, yeah, we want to play good golf. Of course we do. But we're going to have a bit of fun. See what happens. Maybe at home on the first. That will be a channel first. That, well, yeah, it definitely would be. <laughs> definitely would be. Um, so sit back, enjoy. Guys, make sure you like and subscribe. Let's go on break 75, round S and A. About 6,800 yards, par 72. Left the whites and go and rip it up. So you might have seen as well, last week, I uh, brought a video out when talking about the golf clubs that are going to stay and go in my bag at the moment. That's, that stays the same. Nothing's changed. Apart from one change, I'm actually using Pro V1X today. I normally use Pro V1. Don't know how it's going to go. It's supposed to be more spinny, isn't it? Yeah. I genuinely, honestly, guy, right now, I've got no idea how this round of golf is going to go. Give me a number. If it starts with a seven, it'll be a miracle. Okay. If it starts with a seven, it'll be as much of a miracle as me completing the London Marathon. <laughs> so it was a miracle. <laughs> Play well, pal. Play well. What's your number? 79. Beat you. If I beat you, I'll get your golf bag. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, not sure if I'm willing to take that, uh, take that risk. <laughs> uh, right, six, I'm going to go straight at it. Tell you what, this is tracking. Go on. Oh, how was that hit? It's okay. It's, all right. it's actually popped its head up. It wasn't the, was the best strike in the world. I think it was the right club, I just needed to nut it. Just a little bit low heel, but it got there. It's on the green, bad lots of things. Straight at it, at least. Okay, I'll go with a five, and then Rick went six. I'll go one more. Drive. Yeah, good shot, pal. Okay. Was that five? Yeah. Good shot. All right, uphill, let's start off with some birdie sauce. I feel like, genuinely, I've missed the birdie sauce. It's been sat there on the shelf collecting dust. But in a break 75, a traditional break 75, we need to see a bucket load of birdie sauce today. Uphill, right to left. Oh! <laughs> Why not start now? Huh? Why not start right wow. now? <laughs> <laughs> wow, what a pot. I've just done something as well, literally two minutes before I teed off. And if you can see that, I did a little sharpie circle, a little sharpie dot on top of my putter. 
I need something to align with. Maybe that was all it was. That's all I needed was a little Sharpie circle. <laughs> right. Wow. Imagine if I can follow you in two twos the first hole. That would be insane. Got to hit it. it. Got to hit it. Got to hit it. I don't know. It's doing well. <laughs> yeah, good foot, mate. Good foot. Okay, second hole, par five. Hot start. Hot. Didn't expect it, I'll be honest with you, but we'll take it every day of the week. 565 yards, par five. It's pretty much straight down. It's like a, some sort of tower in the background distance, which is a good line, so I'm gonna go on that. What a day, I mean, come on. What a day. You don't like golf today. It's not the sport for you. That was weird. Yeah, that's got lucky. Yeah, I think it has. <laughs> Big snapper, straight left, straight back down to reality. <laughs> Welcome back to golf, Rick. <laughs> I've got a funny feeling it might have jumped the ditch, but that is way left. Okay, sun's out, jumpers off, t-shirts, uh, long sleeve polos on. We course for one thing, big drives, no restrictions, no excuses. Yeah, great ball. Clear the bunker, I'm guessing. Yeah, perfect. Big boy. Big boy. <laughs> I'm gonna protect my, my, uh, my one underscore right now. I'm gonna get a seven iron down there, leave myself 100 yards in. Go. <laughs> okay, I'll play it a different way. I'll do the 100 yard shot now and then hit the 200 yard shot next. That's my <laughs> new plan. So, I actually hit a really good tee shot, I'm very happy with that. And I've now got about 250 to the green. Kind of three quarter, somewhat punchy four iron, let it chase up towards the green and then have maybe a 70 yarder left in. Mr. Bunkers. Mr. Bunkers, Mr. Bunkers, Mr. Bunkers. Oh, I think it's in the second bunker. Hmm, harsh, not very good. Very harsh, I'm 220 yards away. I mean, my ball is not pretty. <laughs> it's really sat down. I'm gonna go five iron and just do my best to absolutely smash it as hard as I can and hopefully it avoids everything. That is thick, missed that bunker. <laughs> Oh, you missed it. <laughs> Just <laughs> proper back to reality on this hole. <laughs> the first hole led me down a path that I can no longer stay on. Now It's, it's just... all well and good going to Augusta Nationals. <laughs> Welcome back to UK Lynx Golf, Richard. Welcome back. Okay, so this is where I should have been after my second shot. I'm 105 yards away. 56 degree in hand. It looks good. pretty good. It's enough plumb, it's all over it. Yeah, it's about four foot. Oh. Not a single good shot yet, and we've got a nice little four foot for par. <laughs> this feels quite unfair. I didn't hit the best shot from down there, that kind of chippy four iron. And maybe I did deserve to go in a bunker, but this is very tough. I've got quite a long way to go to the flag, so probably 70 yards comfortably. On a down slope with the Back of the bunker here. Oh, guy, this is very much going to be a hit and hope, really. Just try and get it out of the bunker. Wish me luck. Great effort. Really good. Right, well, that is actually where it pitched. It wasn't far away. <laughs> that would have been a four. <laughs> that would have been a birdie. Anyway, we've got a little bit longer than four feet, actually. About 12 feet for, for par. Guy's got this put for birdie after a great bunker shot. Oh. They roll nicely. The, the greens are mega. I would give you that. No, it's fine. But I know it, we're playing a really serious competition here. Serious, serious stakes on the line. There's a very big stake on the line in that pack. <laughs> <laughs> that pack is not going anywhere. <laughs> right. For the most unlikely par possibly of my life, and it would really set a tone for this round of golf. Went straight away. Oh, bad putt. 
Deserved nothing more, nothing less than a six, should I say. So, I think it is what it is. Back to level par. Yeah, level par. Level par, level par. Yes. Through two. So, <laughs> after a little bit of uh, orienteering, we've managed to find the third tee. We went on a couple of different tees box. We're finally here. Uh, 417 yards, straight that way. Elevated tee shot. Let's give it a crack. Keep an eye on it. It's all right. Okay. That was my warm-up tee shot the last hole. Let's get this. Let's get this bad boy flying. At the two bunkers, we can see with a little fade. Yeah, lovely. Lovely. That is perfect. It is. Okay, so we found mine in this kind of clumpy stuff. I've got about 175 to the pin. Wind is helping us, which is nice, but I want loft. So I'm going with an eight iron, which obviously isn't enough club to actually get me to the green, but should be enough loft to get me out of this cabbage. Nope. This stuff is tough. 120 yards, pins at the back, downwind. I'm going to try and land this about 115 and hopefully it grabs. I've got gap wedge in hand. Bit of distance. Uh, I think it's all right for distance. I just slightly pulled it. This rough is, is tough, so let's have another go. Sand wedge this time. There we go. Be the club. It's okay. That is going to be a key today. Missing the fairway, you get yourself in this stuff. It is really, really difficult. So fairway is a key. This is very much a Lynx golf shot. I'm on the side of the green, this kind of fringe, this apron. I could kind of put put with a seven iron. Go. Oh. release. Oh. No. It wasn't a million, million miles away, but overall pretty, pretty poor. Right, birdie opportunity here on three, downhill, right to left. I fancy this in a boatloads. The thing I've got to be careful of is it doesn't get away from me because it could easily accelerate down this hill. Birdie put here on three. I think I've got a really good line on this. Speed is going to be key. Go on, keep going. Oh. I didn't have a good look. You did well to a... get there, that. I'll roughly get that. Look yeah. very short. I but... genuinely thought I had a great line on that. But the, uh, and I was more worried about the speed, but I got the speed perfect. The line wasn't great. Par on the scorecard. Well done. Thanks, Par. Rick. Hello. If I hold this, I will fist bump a bogey. I'd love you to. No, oh, I've sliced it. I've actually sliced a putt. And you're not allowed to fist pump a double. No. It's against the, the rules of fist bumping. Oh, two over. Not good. That bag is just getting further and further and further away from my grass. We're not grass. waiting for the bag. <laughs> Stop bringing it up. We are. Fourth hole, par four, 368 yards. And a scattering of bunkers ready to collect any wayward, if I'm honest. Even straight shots could find a bunker down there. Um, into breezing off the right. It's kind of probably not even driver, but I've committed to driver now, so I'm gonna go for it. Try and hold it left side of the fairway. Start at the church steeple. Oh, that was that's a weak too much. shot. Get down. Keep your eye on that. Mm, got a line. Look, uh, no it's idea. not pretty over there. It's a really weak tee shot. I didn't commit to that at all. Yeah, that should be really good. Avoid the bunkers and should be perfect. Yeah, I don't know. It's probably gone in, but ain't it great? I found my golf ball. I am in this area, which is a, not a kind of it's a it's sand, obviously, but it's not a bunker. It's a sand scrape. 150 yards, pins back left, so favourable at least. I just need to catch it well. I'm going to go a time, middle of the green. If it draws, it's good. If it doesn't, it should be middle of the green. Strike was key. Damn. Needed to stay more left than that. Needed to stay a lot more left than that. I must admit, I feel pretty hard done by with that drive. Um, hit pretty much a perfect tee shot for me and found a, a bunker. As you can see, it came from the, this way as well. 
I can't get to the green from here, so I'm going to try and almost lay up to where Rick's ball is, and then we'll have the official nearest the pin championship. Bit further back. You can play off the back tees, I'll play off the front tees. Of course, that was my intention. <laughs> so welcome back to the official nearest the pin championship. I've got 70 yards. Rick's got around 50 yards, so I'm giving that a little bit of advantage, which he probably doesn't need. Don't let hope it was 52. 52. <sighs> nearest the pin gets the master's bag, which is a bit too generous for my liking. That's what Rick said. What was that? Nothing. 70 yards. Come on, let's get this close. Pretty average, not very good, but for the sake of the competition, probably good enough. <laughs> <laughs> for the sake of the competition, that, that's what it's on the green. <laughs> no, come on, 52 yards. Come on. I've been feeling all right over these recently. You can do it. Yep, brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> so different. Driving range maps are so different. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so welcome back as well. Oh, that was terrible. Sorry, everyone. It has been better. This time, though. Love it. You know what? I'm going to be honest, Rick. I want you to improve your chipping, and you've also got a lesson soon, which will, will be on the channel, with a great chipping coach. And you will improve your chipping, but there's a part of me that loves a Russian roulette when you're on the ball. <laughs> Because it could be a little fat like that instead of awkward, or it could be quite good like that. And the excitement, I'm here for it. I'm here for the, I'm here for the entertainment, everybody. <laughs> Let's be honest. If I hit that, I was in. Simple as that. I am here to make bogeys. It's my job. This is a, it's a bogey. Bogey five. Oh, ho, 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 he dropped it in the front door. He went round the back of the house, forgot his keys, and then went straight in the front door. <laughs> so I had to check if anyone was in first. <laughs> that was ridiculous. Okay, fifth hole, par four, 446 yards. Looks like a very narrow fairway, but that's not going to matter because it's going to go straight down the middle of it. I'm going to aim at those two trees on the right, cut it against the wind, and then it just drop in the middle of the fairway. Driver's weird today. Oh, guy. The bad news is the ball's gone. The good news is it's definitely gone, so you can hit another one off the tee straight away. Let's go again. Oh, that's too good. That's, that is, how frustrated are you? Yep. Let's go to one to 10. 10. Yeah, that's absolutely bloody perfect. Okay, 187 to the flag. After a weak, pathetic, terrible tee shot. I mean, it's done all right for me, but it's a terrible strike. I need to get the driver working. Pins back right. I'm going to go middle of the green. And I just think green regulation here is number one priority. I'm just going to go centre. Six iron in hand. Oh, I've drawn that so far left. Oh my goodness. Wow. That was... Ah, uh, my legs. Yes. My legs. London Marathon. My legs. Yeah. Why, why is it taking me five holes to come up with this? It has been known that sore legs a few days after does produce a massive pull hook. <laughs> like, suddenly, Everyone knows. second shot. Yeah. <laughs> I've, I've, I've been talking about how lucky I've been with my legs, but right there, I felt, I felt it. You can, I can see you walking funny. Like this. <laughs> <laughs> and it's way affects your chipping as well, your short shot so it really gets you. <laughs> so they've always said that. <laughs> oh, terrible. Eight iron, full swing, committed. Oh, that's gone left as well. I've got a feeling I'm going to really enjoy today, but I've also got a feeling I could shoot a very high score. Okay, so slight overdraw there with the... Uh... The second shot. <laughs> I had the right distance for the club though. So I'm on the next tee box. I did consider thinking about putting it for just a moment in time, but I think that would be stupid. But we'll see. I'm gonna go wedge. Okay, come on Shields. It's so much better with these recently. Give a good shot. When does a good shot I hit? 
Look at that good shot. Look at that good shot. Think of that good shot. Okay, I'm gonna have to go back a little bit. I'm gonna have to go back in time a little bit. Let me get one. Got one. Got one. That little pitch I played against Ricky Fowler at medalist. And that little bunker was in play. I just had that little shot. I just pitched it in there. And I just stuck it in. I actually got a bit unlucky there. <laughs> I thought it was going to stop a lot quicker than what it did. Nice connection though. Yeah, need to remember that nice little Ricky Fowler pitch I played against him. Even he was wowed by it, he said. Off camera, obviously, he said, wow, it's one of the greatest shots I've ever hit, I've ever seen hit. I've played with Tiger, I've played with some of the greatest players ever, but that pitch there is right up there with one of the best. That's what he said. Okay, this is quite a daunting shot, I'll be honest. Need to kind of hit my 58 degree, nip it over that bank, let it feed into the hole. Spin. Delayed spin, come on. Oh. Hard to get it to grab. Punished. Right, for par. After a very interesting round of golf so far. I feel like this is a, a real tide turner. Yep. This drops. We party. Well, we don't, we go serious mode. If it doesn't drop, then we party. Okay, fair dues. Then we start being. So we're going to be partying then. <laughs> Either way. Just speed, wasn't it? Just speed. Thought it just going to grab enough then. <sighs> so we're partying. Yeah. We're partying. <laughs> Sausage rolls and a party. Tell me that just. That only just went in. <laughs> okay, if I can hold mine for bogey. Oh no, double, oh, what I think. It's double, isn't it? Double. Flipping act. A double. <laughs> right, if I hold this, serious, if I miss a part, I'll join you at the party. Come on, guy. <laughs> Triple bogey. <laughs> We've hit quite a lot of shots so far this round of golf. <laughs> so. Oh. Through, how many holes is that? It's only five? Yes. Oh, right, I've only played five holes. I'm two over par. Okay. Six over par. What was that? Six, six. six over par. Okay. I'm six over par through five holes. Break 90's on. Right. Let's be still. Whoosh. Let's serious play serious. It's a new round. Play well, mate. Play well. Enjoy rounds. Thank you. Okay. We start, yeah, we're going to play a 13 hole round of golf <laughs> today. <laughs> Um, right, no, be serious now. Let's play golf. Yep. Seventh, six hole, six hole. God, I feel like we've played so much more holes. Dog leg right, only short. What is the line? I'm going to go at those kind of that maintenance van in the background. So it's like a... <laughs> Greenkeeper in the UK, we call it. Rick's now the maintenance man. <laughs> the groundskeeper of Willie. The superintendent's vehicle. <laughs> um, just over that hump on the right. Oh, it's bad today. Bad boy. Bad driver. Yeah, good ball. Some of us, Rick, have come to play golf today. Oh, right, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Provisional ball. Yes, that's a... Some hang time. Yep. Yeah, it's better. We'll see what happens down there. I think I'll find my first. Okay, so managed to find my original golf ball, the first one. Uh, not terrible, not ideal, obviously. Um, I'm way into the left rough here. 154 yards to the flag, slightly into breeze. I'm going to hit an eight iron and just really hope for the best. Draw. Ah! I really expecting that to draw. Get past the bunker. It's pin high right. That tee shot was very good. I've come to play now. You've heard this all before, I'll probably shank this next shot, but let's pretend it's happening. I'm here to play. 105 yards to the pin, 50 degree. Come on. Strike. This looks nice. This looks nice. Oh, here he is. He's back. Okay, I actually didn't know there were three bunkers down here. I missed the first one, but it's actually collected into this third one along. Again, it was perfect distance. I'm just going to play a splash out. If it hits the bank just over, it's going to run all the way down. If I carry that bank, I've got to probably carry it quite a long way. Oh, 
Thanks. <laughs> it wasn't quite the way I described it. Granted, it wasn't. But it was this other option that I didn't play for, but it worked. There was a crowd just on the other side waiting for a t-shirt and they, they were none the wiser till they maybe watch this video and go, that's not what he meant to do. But until that point, I'm going to dine out on it. Oh. I thought it was going in, then I didn't, and then I did, and then it didn't. Oh, God. It's a power on the scorecard, though, pal. That's it. You know, the small wins. <laughs> that is it. If I can do that for the rest of the round in, I'll break 80. <laughs> Just, I think. <laughs> Thank you. Nice four. Okay, par five, seventh hole. Um, par five. Yep. Dog leg left. I'm just gonna. I, I just need this to work. It will. Okay. That looks nice. As long as it carry, I'm not really hit it that well. It's done all right for you though. It carry that first one. Yeah. That's perfect. That is literally perfect. Yeah. I've now got 170 left in, which for a par five is pretty exciting. Wind's behind a little bit. That uh, big flag mast thing at the background is my line. Nice committed eight iron. Great Fifth strike. Bully. Might just hang on to the left side of the green. I might even be left of the green. Oh yeah, it's quite a long way left. Okay, so similar distance to Guy. I'm just a little bit further to the right. I've got a completely blind shot here. I actually can't even really even see the top of that flagpole. Um, I'm going to go eight iron as well. Nice. Good. About, about 40 foot, but pin high. So I'm happy to some degree with, with my miss left, because this is obviously okay. That side's dead. Rick's shot was a really professional golf shot. 35, 30 foot left of the flag for Eagle on the correct side. So two, one good, good shot, one okay shot. This is the testing one though. Just kind of nip this onto the green and let it feed down towards the hole. I'd love to get a birdie, I need a birdie. Double birdie sauce on one hole would be delightful. Go a bit. Okay. Out. Eagle opportunity, please. Cross the green. Not loads of break in this. It's all about speed and just hoping it gets lucky. Oh, oh, just wiggled at the yeah. end. Come on, two birdies then, guy. Oh, let's try. Yeah, well done, mate. Great birdie. Thank you very much. Very good. Follow you in, two birdies on this hole. Lovely. Lovely. Thank you. This well is the golf you're all waiting for. Who's coming? You've been patiently waiting. Okay, 159 yards to this par three. Just a little bit into wind. Pins back right. There's no reward for short. So I'm gonna hit a seven iron. Um, great looking hole this. It's hard, probably won't be able to quite see it on camera. Uh, drone footage should be able to show it nicely, but the green is definitely elevated. I think as soon as this ball goes up in the air, it's going to get hurt by the wind. So I'm going to flight it down, start it on the flag, and if it draws to the middle, happy days. Called it. Yeah, absolutely called it. That could be anything. It's a number. <gasps> Great shot. Thank you. Kind of try and go the opposite way and a bit of a cutty one in there. Oh, he's done it. He's absolutely done it. In. Oh, that is a shot. That is a shot. Hey, just needed one bit. Look at that smile on his face. That was good. So the guys had a great shot to there. Really good putt for birdie. Mine pitched here. <laughs> right in line. But because I hit that kind of low chasey drawing, it's ran much more towards the back of the green. So longer range birdie putt, but one that can still be hold. Okay, up the hill, right to left to somehow get back to level par for this eight holes I've played so far. 
Has to break, has to break. It, that had to break, like, that defied gravity. No, I twisted it. That put. Ah, oh, never mind, couldn't get, I couldn't get a line on that, I didn't commit to it. That's about birdies would have been. Would have been almost too good for my life. It would have been really. People just like question it. Because I'm relatable, I would have been too good. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Ah, good hole, in fairness. Yeah. Two pars. Okay, ninth hole, another par five. Lovely way to finish the front nine here. And a cheeky birdie would get me back to level par. It's not what I expected, but either way, let's see if we can get it done. Dog leg left, driver needs a, t a draw really here, but I'm not feeling a draw at the moment, so I'm going to try and cut it over the top of this hill, bring it back with the wind. Come on, driver, play ball. I have to sit a little bit, do you think? Just say. Oh, wow. I've done the same, but worse, maybe. Simmer. Dig your teeth in, sit down, oh. take a chair. So we found my tee shot, kind of similar -ish to Rick's, but where I am here, you'd be crazy to try and go for it, really. So I'm going to try and punch your chip a nine iron, kind of just over this gauze. Should be good. Yeah, nice shot. Took my medicine. Well out. Right, well, I am crazy. My nickname, Crazy Rick. So... <laughs> I'm gonna go for this shot, Five, 215 yards. Um, the ball's not sat too bad. I'm literally gonna try and send it up to space. All right, four iron. Oh, I actually have nailed it, to be honest. Needs to draw a bit. I thought it was gonna draw more. Third shot, yes. par five. Yes. What have you got? Pitching wedge, 130. Okay. No, it's cutting too much. It's good for distance, though. Yeah, it's not chance. bad. Okay, so after a pretty good second shot from where I was, I'm pin high, lob wedge in hand. Obviously, can't put it for obvious reasons. So I'm just going to chip in. Fight. Hmm. Not sure how to feel about that. Does that feel like an okay shot? It landed on a down slope and that took that skid off it. Did it? I was more just, my main objective was to hit the green and I did it, which was good, but I honestly thought that once it was in the air, I thought it was going to be absolutely bang on. If it landed on a flat, stop. I reckon it would have took that little bit of nip. Okay, birdie chance. This would be a nice one to sink. I am five over. This was taken to four over through nine, which is potential to steady the shift and get a half decent 18 hole score. Drop. Oh, agonizing. Not quite. I'll take that though. Five over with a couple of bad holes. Right. For the third birdie of the front nine to get me back to level par. Don't see a lot in this at all. It's going to ever so slightly move left. I'm going to go right hand lip down the hill and I see nothing but net. Didn't hit it. And that's a terrible line. Oh, I just didn't hit it as soon as it came off the face. Terrible. Did you say for Milan? <laughs> Terrible. Left mid for Milan. So one over for me front nine. An interesting nine. Yes. There's been say. some good from both of us, some not so good from both of us. I think, nice. yeah, I think uh, a halfway house that looks like it might have a very tasty sausage roll is in sight. Can I have a sausage roll, please? This one. This one's my baby. In uh, heaven. Okay. I mean, first off, a wrapped sausage roll, yes. Absolutely. It's right up my street. Oof, wow. I mean, come on. That just looks, watch this. 
You're I'm, not really a sausage roll guy. I'm more of a pie guy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> meat and potato pie. I'm a pie guy. I am. But what I like about that, you said wrapping. Yeah. Big tick. Logoed wrapping. <sighs> double tick. The glaze. Huge tick. I mean, the glaze is ridiculous. We're talking girth. Um, you've got a knife, so explain what you're going to do with it. I learnt a trick recently. <laughs> I better not do that on video. <laughs> I learnt a trick recently from. Um, we're on a shoot at Royal Lytham and they did that, the sauce trick. Okay, talk to me. So you cut it in half, slice it down the middle, okay? Wow, it looks nice. Which already is a test of excellence, and it really is. And I like it, listen, I like a ketchup on a sausage roll. Okay, okay. I would go brown, but that, that You can go either with this. You open her up, okay? <laughs> yeah. And you just, you just... And then you close it again to seal in the sauce. If you choose to. You'll close that, yeah, it's going to close. So now, that, you wouldn't even know. Look, 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 it's got ketchup in it. No one knows. Nobody knows, right. There's a little trick for you there. You don't just learn how to play incredible golf on this channel. You also learn how to put ketchup in a sausage roll, right. What's your thoughts so far out of 10 with everything you've seen? 10? How can it not be a 10? Correct. Literally, how can it not be a 10? The size, everything about it. I mean, it's just- Warm, I mean, it's it just, warm? It's phenomenal. It's that, this is, Amazed, isn't it? I want to see the first mouthful. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's all staying in. What's your thoughts, Rick? <laughs> Pardon? <laughs> we'll put some subtitles in there. <laughs> Good. Cheers, mate. A 10 out of 10. Incredible. Okay, 10th hole. Back nine here at South Fort Nagedale. You know what's quite weird? The last scene everyone's seen is you eating that's roll being really weird. Now you did serious again. Quite a strange transition, but quick's been normal again. Bar three, slightly into breeze, slightly uphill. I'm going to hit seven iron. Straight at it, get a hole in one, have a whiskey shot in the halfway house and call it a day. Nice. He wasn't joking. Oh, he was joking a bit, actually. I was joking a bit. A lot of people at home, Nick, feel very underwhelmed right now. Well, me too, don't worry. I sympathise with everyone watching. <laughs> <laughs> I will actually do what I'm going to say I'm going to do. I will put this in the hole. Now come, meaning business. Got to grow legs. Yeah, it's got to grow legs. It's a good hit as well. Oh. Okay, just coming up slightly sh shy of the green and slightly left. I needed to hit a much better seven iron than that. So I've now got a, this hill to navigate and once it gets on the green, it starts running away from me. Speed is going to be key. Oh, that's snapped left. Really good for speed, but Great wow, pace. it went so quick to the left off that hill. This is a shot that takes precision and uh, guts, nerve, which I don't know if I've got, I'll be honest with you. I'll pretend I have. I'm going to try and nip a 58 degree, land it up there, a couple of hops and bops, and then in the hole. Oh, it just rolls on. I thought you played that really nice. As did I. Ah. Okay, big power save coming right up. Needed. Oh, crying out loud. It's got a bit of a misread. Well, I saw it go off a left, but I just. I don't know what I did, hit it too hard. Right, straight put for par. I didn't trust myself at all there, Rick. I think the answer to that was it wasn't straight. Miss Reed, bogey, curse of the sausage roll. <laughs> 11th hole, par four, 445 yards. Good looking hole this. Requires a good straight tee shot. Driver. Straight down. Yep. That'll do. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, not my best strike in the world, but middle of the fairway. Oh, that's a drive. That's a drive. Thank you. Little bit of lemon on it. <laughs> oh, it's pounding down the fairway. That was very nice. Okay, two good drives there from myself and Rick. Got 164, Rick's got 163. It's a seven iron. Come on, I can do the nice hit here. Oh, it's a bit heavy. It's a bit heavy. Ah. Not very good, that. 
Similar distance. 163, seven iron in hand. Oh, this could be nice. Stay there. Stabilize it, wind. Ah. Turned. It's a bunker over there as well. Damn. Okay, let's get this one close. Nice, go in. Oh, that's special. Very. That's special. Very that. Very proud of that golf shot. I'm gonna save that as like a 10 second cliff and watch it back most evenings in bed. Great shot that. I just knock this in. Okay, downhill, right to left. Nice look at this. I feel like I've been having a good few looks with the putter. That opening hole definitely helped boost the confidence. Let's hope it wasn't just luck. Are you going front door, side door or back door? Or through the window? <laughs> uh, I'm going to go kind of right edge corner. Okay, through the garage. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> right in the letterbox yes. of the front very, door. Very, very well done, my friend. Thanks, pal. That was nice. Fancied that one. I really did. Okay, sun's out, two irons out, 12th hole, 419 yards. There's a bit of a little kind of cheeky ditch down there. It doesn't quite go across the fairway, but any wayward tee shots might get caught out. So two iron, three iron, I think Guy's going to go for. He's, gonna, he's got a classic in the bag here. They have, I've put in my old Nike Vapor iron. That should be a green swoosh, but I've blacked it out, as you do. So we'll see if it stays in the bag after the shot. I think it will or not. <laughs> after the shot? Yeah, get one go and that's it. <laughs> um, yeah, the way you were hitting it good on the range, so I think. Correct. Yeah. Thanks so I'm going to no, I'm gonna go two iron. This is a club that has mm, been interesting. I'm just going to drill it straight over it. Bit of a drop kick drill, but it'll. I guess it'll be okay. Yeah, left rough. The hole goes that way as well. And its last legs, this one. You might have seen the video I released last week. I was talking about the clubs that I'm going to keep and the ones that I'm going to bin. It's unfortunate. It's not going to be binned, the binned, but it's definitely going to be retired gracefully. Oh, strike! Thank you. Nike did make good clubs, didn't they? They did, but it's also about who's using them. <laughs> what Tiger Woods? Rory McIlroy, Guy Charnock. Correct, the right order. Well, not actually the way around. Tiger, then me, then Rory. Slightly in the heather on the left. 176 yards. I'm actually going to try and chase an eight iron up there. Actually might get straight on the green. Stop, stop. Oh, it has. Oh, it's come back. Come on, baby. Come on, baby, come back. So the Nike 3 iron had one shot and it performed. So it's in the bag. Done. That Officially, easy? is that it? That easy? Done. One five force the pin. Seen a lovely nine iron. Oh, it's out the fatty toe again, but get up. That actually might work. Yeah, it has. It's done what mine was going to do, yeah, land okay. short and run up. Okay, got this put for birdie. Down the hill. Kind of moves to the left first, then starts to move back to the right. Oh. In the opposite way. It, I thought this was going to make it mo go way more left than it did. That was a frustrating pull. Guy's got this for birdie now. It's kind of got quite a big undulation to get over. Tracking. Hit the flag. Oh, yeah. You know what? I deserve that, but I wanted to try and actually get a put in the hole. You certainly gave it a go. <laughs> I just knew you'd hold it. Like I just had so much faith in you holding that foot that it was ridiculous. Thank you. <laughs> For par, straight up the hill. Yep. Thank you. Two pars. Loads of faith. Too much. Because you've got faith, faith in our faith, faith. religion. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. 13th hole, par three, looks pretty straightforward. Slight bit into wind, there's water back left, three bunkers presented at the front, and maybe I think even one hidden left as well. And I hit seven iron, but not a full seven iron, just like a, a controlled one. Keep it under the wind. Oh, hold your line. Trying to hold its line. 
shot. I'm going to go same club, very, very similar shot. I'm going to hit a full swing. But I'm going to grip down it about half an inch just to kind of take a little bit off it. A bit of a weird one. Okay, so that tee shot of mine was a bit of a weird one. It's obviously bounced off this kind of little hill here and missed the green left. It's a nice 58 degree, nothing too fancy. Oh, just died a bit. Okay, birdie opportunity here on 13, pretty much dead straight up the hill, hardly any break at all. I'm gonna take dead aim, which looks absolutely perfect. Straight at it, nice speed. That's it. Didn't sound hit that. Bad putt as well. Struggle with dead straight putts. Another part. No harm done. No. Nice. Nice. Nice bogey save. Really nice bogey save. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. 14th hole, par four, 396 yards. Couple of bunkers down the right, which you want to stay away with. Hugging the left is ideal. And it should just be a little flick into the green. And drive and just try and fade it from that left-hand side. Yeah. Sometimes I look like a good golfer. <laughs> I think it's the golf shoes. It is. The golf is not a buttercup. This guy can play. Golf shoes, little one one strap on the shoulder. Nothing inside 50 yards. Perfect. Right, I'm gonna try and copy that. That was just really desirable golf shot that. Might be right at the bunkers. It's a bit healy, which is healthy. It it to be fair. It's alright. So I'm here, I healed mine, did it very well. And Rick absolutely nailed it. It's probably the best drive he's ever hit, which is really good to see. And he's up there. So he's getting quite excited that he's outdriven me for once. It's quite funny, so we'll let him have his moment. What are you saying all the way back there? Tell you what, let's just see who wins this hole. That's all we'll off, judge it off this one hole. Right, eight iron into the breeze. It's all right, if it misses that trap. Oh no, it's in the trap. Short of the trap. It's not in the trap. Short. So after I hit my little fairway finding fade down here, just into perfect position on this hole, no big deal. 111 yards left into the flag, pins at the front, slightly into breeze. I'm gonna chip a little pitching wedge. Oh, hold your line. That was weird. <laughs> that was a weird shot. It, it had potential to be very nice at the start. I'm not sure if the camera will do this justice. But this is a horrible golf shot. I've got a bunker here, which is kind of somewhat in the way. Then the slope off the back of the bunker, so we need to land a, a little 58 degree wedge over the bunker, but not too much off that hill because it'll just bounce it miles forward. This is really difficult. Anything, honestly, anything within the length of probably a driver would be a really good effort from here. Slow, 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 slow. Oh, that was magic. Yeah. Happy with that. That was magic. Thank you. Downhill, left to right. Anything closer than guys I'll actually be happy with from here. My speed control's been phenomenal. Just my line's been terrible. The part up the hill, left to right. Yeah, well done. Thank you. Kind of Kevin Nair on that one. You kind of walked it in. <laughs> Yeah, that was actually a really good fall. Great up and down from there. 15th hole, par four. It's a cracking hole. First time we start to see some real tree definition. And there's like <clears throat> four bunks up the right. It looks like there's a couple down the left. Tiny little green. If, you, if you're ambitious and you're going for it, and your name's Bryson DeChambeau, you might have had a crack at this. That'll be guys. Might be a bit more than the desired number left in. But, oh, that's had to a nice bounce. Nike three iron, back in business. Cutting off that left side. That's a bit thin, but it should do miss them traps. Yeah. yeah, nice. Good shot. Nine iron. I'm gonna go middle of the green with a tiny little draw so it just starts to go towards the flag. Oh, pushed it. Get down. 
grab the green. Mm, it's not great, it's just off the side of the green. Do I have 126 yards left into the pin? Strike. All right, that's it. Strike yeah. was absolutely nice shot, phenomenal. Mate. Okay, <clears throat> so just missed the green with the nine iron, but nothing too disastrous, left myself. Missed on the correct side, which was key. I've just got this pretty much straight uphill. Speed is key. It's gonna just slightly kick to the right. Simmer. Sit. On delay, on delay. Get going. Come on, guy for birdie. Oh. Man, that felt so pure as well, that putt. This is absolutely dead straight down the hill. No deviation, no break. If there is, then it must have been some sort of gravitational pull from the ocean, because this is perfectly straight. Oh, must have pulled it. You must have pulled it. Must have pulled it, because that was dead straight. Ah, oh, Shields, silly bogey there. Don't forget that you did run the marathon. So. Yeah, my legs are hurting actually. It my makes it well. What, it, my it, legs are really hurting. And it hurting. affects how you read greens. Yeah, go par par. So on hole number 16, par five. Great looking hole, Rich. It is. It's an interesting one. Yeah, there's, there's a lot going huge on. Huge sleepers down there. And what I mean by sleepers is massive, big wooden planks that are used for railways, and they've cleverly reused them into a huge face of a bunker here on 16. Uh, just, I want to see where you hit three wood. I'm going to hit three wood, a bit more loft, let that wind help it, pop it down there, and it's then... Par five as well, by the way. Oh, I've healed it, we got away with it. That was quite lucky. Yeah, it should be fine. So it'll be okay. Okay, three wood it is. I'm going to try and... Do similar to guy, fly it on the wind because it is downwind a little bit. I don't want to get too close to those banks. I'm going to go down the right hand side and just draw it back into the middle. Great shot. Stay there. We've both hit quite good three woods. I've got this real blind shot as Rick's so over these sleepers and then kind of down there. I got 270 into the middle. I don't think there's much point trying to smash a three wood there. It just feels too risky. So I'm going to go for a five iron. Oh, it's a bit left. It's a bit left. So I'm 250 to the front, 270 to the middle. Sounds stupid. If I wouldn't have bogeyed the last hole, I'd probably lay up and try and play three shots. I feel like I'm, I'm pressing now. I feel like I'm trying to make something work. Three wood, straight at it. Hit it well, but it's left. I'll take a provisional. All right, provisional ball. Hopefully we can find the first. That's better. Do a little bit oh, less coming around again though, actually. It's a lot, lot better. So, not ideal where we ended up here, left side of the fairway, but it's okay, it's in play. Got 87 yards left of the flag, so I could do with really trying to get this one close and being a little bit aggressive. Got to go a bit. That could end up being quite lucky. Right. Turn up for events. Sam, the cameraman, nearly broke his ankle, but he found the ball, the original ball. Slightly long right is safe. Sit. Hit the bank. Come down, come down, come down. Coming back down. a bit. It's all right. Okay, so my approach, I didn't do very well in the end. I thought it was going to feed in, but it kind of missed the green short left. So very outside chance of birdie, but like ridiculously outside chance of birdie. Go. Needs to go. I do really struggle. I know Rick likes to put them off the green, but I struggle with different lengths of grass. So if it's hard to get through this bit, I find it very difficult. All right, see if we can capitalise. Come on, for birdie. Ooh. Par it is. Yeah, well done. Ah. Bogey. Well, if I hold this one. Bogey. Ah, oh, unlucky pal. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's the 80 gone now. Still time for birdie. Two holes to go. Two par fours. 17th hole, two to play, par four. It's like, I mean, the contour of the hole looks like oh, it's, it's going left. It's beautiful. Hole. Yeah, really nice. The bunker down there, right in the middle of the fairway, which you've obviously got to avoid. Apart from that, give it a rip. Oh, he has. If that holds that line, not take too much off it. I think it's going to be in a very similar spot. I was after my first, after my tee shot on the second. Yeah, great ball. Similar line to mine, actually. Very similar. Yeah. Do that. They'll be fine. Okay, second shot into 17. Um, 154 yards downwind. Green looks tiny. Bunker on the right, bunker on the left. You've got to feed it straight through the middle of them. Oh, stop, 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 stop turning. I don't think that's terrible. I think it's on the green, but just a little bit pulley. Okay, 132 yards to the flag, wind behind, going for three quarter pitching wedge. Oh, Luco, Gluco! Be all right. Long range birdie put here on 17. Ever slightly going to move left. Speed is key. Oh, go! Okay, big birdie chance. Well, it's not a big birdie chance. It's a chance of birdie, it's a big putt. Not a good birdie chance. Track, 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 go, go, go. Mm, not bad. Yeah, not bad at all. Right, with the job of trying to break 75, I feel like this putt has got a lot of weight to it. Silly three foot. I say three foot. <laughs> what a silly three foot. Ah. Yeah, good foot, pal. Very good. Right, I've made it interesting down the last. It's been a roller coaster, it has. I think now, because I think the potential has been slightly better today, I'm somewhat gutted. But, par or birdie needed down this final hole. Let's get it done. Right. Big hole this. It is. Rick needs a par, I need a birdie to shoot 79 and break 80. Good luck. I'm Good gonna luck. lay up four iron. Yeah, it's a risk reward hole as well. You can smash driver, but it gets tight, or you can hit four iron, long iron, and have a wedge in. Strike. I can't hit a golf shot better than that. So it's just down to the look of the bunker gods. All right, I'm gonna go four iron two. Yeah, should be good, I think. Hit it nicely. 134 yards. Uh, slightly down breeze. Pin is mega back left. Like, as back left as it can possibly That's be. That's a Rick Shields pin. It is. I did ask for it there, to be fair. <laughs> There's a bit of a backstop behind the flag. Okay, pitching wedge. Little three quarter one. Well, 90% one. Get back there. Get back there. Oh yeah, that's a professional golf shot, that Rick. Thanks. A solo guy at the, the amphitheatre said good shot, Rick, so. That was quite nice. Nice. That was a great shot, mate. Okay, so I've got 124 yards, kind of somewhat in between clubs, but I'm also basically going to do the same as Rick, a kind of three quarter pitching wedge. I'd love to get it anything remotely as close as Rick has. That's a great golf shot. It's a good strike if it hops. If it hops, if it hops. Oh, that oh, I thought that was going close. I don't think it's bad. I think it's just a little bit shy. <sighs> nice hit though. 30 for 79, it's on. <laughs> you know what? I've really enjoyed today. I think golf played in the right manner. There's not too much pressure on and nice and relaxed, nice and chilled. And to be honest, Beautiful golf course, beautiful day with great company. Glad you've all been here to witness it and enjoy it as well. Be sure to like and subscribe. Loads more Break 75s are coming soon. Look at these two shots, like a couple of players walking into 18. It's what we do. <laughs> okay, big putt for me this. This is for 79, I believe, unless the maths is wrong. Come on, mate, knock it in. I would love to hold this putt. 
Oh, oh. That rolled past as well. <sighs> you went for it. So I rock it and knock it in? I'll knock it in, pal. Yeah, well done, mate. Right. To finish how I started, a birdie on the first, a birdie on the last would be very, very nice. A little downhill, slightly left to right, but not a lot in it. Oh! oh. <laughs> Knock it in. Little Lagsville. Very good, very good. Well played. That's thanks, the best play for a while, that. Thanks, very, very tidy, very professional. It was. Guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks to Weston A. If you're ever down here, make sure you play the place. Thanks to Charlotte and the team. Yes. And, uh, Let's see if we can catch up with the captain because he treated us to all those sausage rolls and pies. Let's see if we can treat him to a pint. Thanks yes. for watching, guys. Stay tuned, lots more to come. See you next time. Peace.